Okay, in this video I'm going to give uh, uh, a, a basic introduction to functions. Um, you probably know of functions from uh, a pre-calculus class or something like that. For example, we might have the function f of x is equal to x squared. What does this really mean? It means that we can take, that this function prescribes some sort of an operation where we take as input some number and as output we get some other number. And in this case, this is the, the equation for a parabola. If we plot this function, it'll look like this. And we can take, um, say, x equals 2, and it will map to f of x equals 4. Okay? This is an example of a function that has a domain uh, that is the set of real numbers, which is the entire number line. Okay? And this function happens to have a range which is the positive real numbers. So this is the real numbers. Okay? And the domain and, and the function we write, we write the function f colon uh, maps the domain to the range. Here I did not use a, a double R, I just used a little uh, capital D and a capital R. Okay? So the domain, let me tell you what they are now. The domain is the set of inputs to the function, and the range is the set of outputs. So most of the sets, or the functions that you've dealt with in the past, have been mapping uh, uh, the real numbers to the real numbers or some subset of them. Okay, uh, But now, in finite math, we're going to be working with arbitrary sets. For example, the sets uh, that I defined in some earlier videos. Um, for example, if A is the set a, B, C, and B is the set 1, 2, 3, 4, then I can define a function that maps, uh, I can define a function, let's call it G, that maps the set A to the set B. And we say that G maps the set A to the set B. Okay, that's how that's uh, read. That's how we read this statement here. Okay, and so uh, for every element in A, G has to be defined. Okay? Um, and moreover, uh, if I take any element of A, and put, put it as input to G, I get uh, an element of B, and I get one and only one element of B. Okay, so uh, one way to define a set, uh, a mapping, a function G, is to define how it operates on every single element in the domain, the set A in this case. So I can define G as, for example, G of little a, is equal to 1, g of little b is equal to 2, and g of little c is also equal to 2, for example. Okay? So, uh, so we must define uh, for all elements of the domain. That is, this domain here, A, we have to define how G behaves when I have input A, B, or C. We're not allowed to leave 
uh, the function undefined for one of the elements in the domain. Okay, so two properties of a set must define for all elements of the domain, and number two, um, uh, g of x is unique. Oops. Uh, for every x uh, in the domain. Okay, here I'm using the set theory notation. Uh, for all x that are members, for all things x, for all mathematical objects x that are an element of the domain D. Okay? That means I can't say that G of A is equal to 1, but it's also equal to 2 sometimes. That we can't have. Okay? There's only one output. Okay? Um, what we'll do, let's see, uh, I'm going to make a new page here. Uh, well, I'll stop here and make another video that, that goes into a little bit more detail, some other ways of defining sets, and some more examples.